what is going on everyone welcome back to another tutorial series in this video series i'm going to be showing you guys how to use the windows command line all the cool things that you can do with it all the different tools and tips and it's going to be awesome so well let's just go ahead and get started so first things first how the heck do you open the command line well what you can do is you can go to this start menu down here and you can just type cmd and hit enter in boom roasted look at that or if you don't feel like moving your mouse what you can do is you can actually just hit the windows key on your keyboard just like that you can type cmd hit enter and look at that you never even had to touch your mouse so anyways check this out this is the windows command line how be <laughs> how beautiful looking is this so before we get started learning how to use it how to move around and all the cool things that we can do let's talk about why we would ever want to use this I mean we already have this awesome graphical interface I mean that's kind of the point of Windows so we don't have to use this command line so why would we even bother with it well actually in a lot of cases depending on what you're trying to do the command line is actually faster than using the GUI and whenever I say GUI I mean graphical user interface pretty much are all of these cool icons and you know pictures dragging with the mouse so this is called a graphical user interface, what you usually use. And it's pretty much the opposite of this old, uh, you know, outdated looking command line. But like I said, in a lot of cases, it's faster than using the GUI. And also, there are certain tools and software that are only available to the command line. So for example, I'm gonna be showing you guys a program called T-Shark later on, and you can only run it from the command line. You can't use it, you know, in a, GUI type of way so that's pretty cool and a lot of like security and networking tools are also only available from the command line and uh, yeah in another cool thing the last thing I want to say is later on I'm gonna show you guys how to build your own programs and scripts for the command line so enough of me rambling let's go ahead and get started so the first thing you're gonna notice is whenever you pop this open you have a little indicator and this is called the current working directory it's basically where you are on your computer so let me open up just this old windows explorer and i'll show you guys the equivalent of it so right now it says i'm in c users bucky so my main hard drive in a directory called users and the user i am is bucky so this is where i'm at right now now if you're just using this Windows Explorer, in order to move around to a new directory, you just find one and double click it like this. Say I wanted to move in my desktop, double click that, easy stuff. Now if I ever wanna go back, I'll just click this back button or I can click up here. However, in our command line, we don't have that luxury. We don't have anything to click except this big black background. So how would we move into the desktop? Well, anytime you wanna change your directories, you type the keyword CD. That means change directory. So from here, remember, we can just go desktop and hit enter. And that means I wanna change or go into my desktop. And look at that. So now we are basically in the desktop. So now we can run whatever tools and you know make files from here, make directories, whatever we wanna do. But now you're thinking, all right, well, how do we get back? Because in Windows Explorer, you can either click this right here or it has a big old back button. With the command line, we don't have that back button. So anytime you wanna go back or up a directory, what you do is you write CD and instead of back or anything like that, you write dot dot. This means take me to the parent directory. So if you see my path is C users Bucky desktop, so it's pretty much gonna bump us back into Bucky right there. Pretty cool. Now. You know how I said that anytime you wanna change a directory, you pretty much write CD and then name where you wanna move into? Well, you're not only limited to moving one step at a time, you can actually move multiple steps. So you see like in this um, Windows Explorer, if you wanna to get to a file or folder inside my desktop, you click desktop and then, I don't know, maybe you wanna go into videos, two clicks. So from here, what you can actually do is this type desktop and then backslash and then videos so hit enter and boom look at that so we already see that whenever you use this it only takes one step 
typing in one path rather than two clicks. So that's pretty cool. And now if you guys are like, all right, well, what if I want to go back two steps? So I want to go back in the desktop and then back into Bucky. Well, what you do is CD dot dot. This is going to take you up one. However, if you do forward slash dot dot again, this means take me back two directories. So look at that. So that's the basics of how to navigate around. And I'll show you guys something else that's pretty cool. So if we are just in Bucky right now, you see that we have, um, let's say that we want to go to downloads. So what we can do is we can actually type CD and then we can start typing the word downloads. But see, I'm lazy and I don't feel like typing in the entire word because it's gonna take half a second and I got stuff to do. So instead, what you can do is you can actually hit tab on your keyboard. Now what hitting tab does is it pretty much tries to auto complete it. So since I type D, it said, okay, you wanna change to a directory, but I have two of them that start with D, desktop and downloads. So I'm gonna hit tab and it's gonna fill in whatever it thinks I meant first. And it just looks at alphabetical order, the first directory that starts with D. Now, if it doesn't get the right one, then I can hit tab again and boom, look at that. So pretty much use tab whenever you want to auto complete. And if there's only one, like, uh, here, let me do this. CD desktop, uh, let me go CD videos. So I only have one directory that starts with the V on my desktop. So it's just gonna give me videos by default. But again, use tab to auto complete and save you some time. And it doesn't only save you time, but it also helps with typos since you know, you might actually accidentally spell videos like that. I mean, you probably wouldn't, but it pretty much saves you time and help, helps with typos. So there you go. So that is your real quick introduction to the Windows command line. I'm sure you guys are thrilled already. <laughs> you know, if you're like, all right, so I can move directories. Wow, this thing is useless. Well, wait till like five tutorials from now and you guys are gonna see just how awesome it is. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.